what's up? It's your boy Tone202 coming at you one more again. Shoot. You know what? The world is turned upside down because <laughs> the world is turned upside down. You know, as somebody who used to be in the music industry, you know, I'm a songwriter. You know, I do my little thing. I'm an older cat, though. You know, so I'm not really up on everything. You know, I don't use social media like everybody else does. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I'm older, I'm more traditional. I believe in talent. You know, I can't listen to mumble rappers because they're not saying anything. You know, I'm still, you know, if I want to listen to rap, I still want to listen to Nas. I don't know what that boy from Chino Hills is talking about. Nobody listens to Nas. You're wrong about that. This here is Black China. And she is in the studio. Now, this is a stripper who uh, basically finessed a dude whose family is a, a bunch of finessers, is what they do. You know, who are the Kardashians, who are known for pretty much nothing but, you know, Kim Kardashian finessing other black men and then finally marrying, you know, Kanye West. And, you know, Black China pretty much, you know, followed their coattails. Married Rob Kardashian, had a baby by him, who's a Kardashian. And the finesse game continues on. Of course, everybody wants to be around her who's interested in social media because, uh, you know, she's probably got millions of followers. And, of course, that means millions of dollars. You know, she's not a broke chick. You know, but she came off the stripper pole, finessed the right dude, got a baby by him, pretty much left him, masked that, and now she's in a rap game. It's like, you know, she went out and hired a bunch of people to write, you know, her, her, the music that will be coming out. But what's most astonishing is she's already got offers from record deals. And she hasn't even dropped the song yet. Now, listen, I'm a fan of rap. I grew up listening to rap and hip hop. I'm a fan of rap and hip hop. You know, the true meaning of it all. You know what I'm saying? Like, even some rappers today, I can, I'm like, eh, I feel your vibe, but I won't listen to your music. You know what I'm saying? Jay Cool, I feel his vibe, I don't listen to his music. Cardi B is one of my favorite personalities, but I don't listen to her music. That Bodak Black was hot, though. But I don't listen to it. I don't go out and purchase it. I don't bang it in my truck. You know what I'm saying? I don't do none of that. I'm still banging Lauryn Hill and stuff like that because of the vibe that they carry. I don't believe in all this going up against people and calling them out their names. and all. I don't believe in none of that. I'm an older, I'm an older dude. I'm not trying to hear all that cursing. But nonetheless, the game has changed because the whack rappers used to get like hated on back in the day. If you was, if you couldn't put some lines together on your own, you was whack. Now you just pay people to do it, and you get out there and floss, and everybody eats. Has nothing to do with talent. Has to do with the pure fact that we all need money. That's what it is. If you got, you know, a certain amount of followers, these record companies will pick you up. Regardless, if you're the dopest rapper on earth and nobody's heard of you, nobody is, like, these these labels are not trying to fill you whatsoever. And that's a dang shame because they're just going to put out more trash. And that's all that's going to be to it. This is why I don't listen to the radio. Because it's more trash and heavy rotation. I can't even do it anymore. That's pretty much what they're going to do. Now, I haven't heard her, this woman rap, but I don't think she can rap. But it's going to be more trash. I feel sorry for this generation. It's going to be more call each other names, more pop and zannies, more, you know, stupid challenges more going out and killing each other, 
It's just going to be more and more trash and more dangerous talk. And none of it is going to edify anything. It's just evil. Anyway, this is just my opinion from an OG. You know what I'm saying? And not OG as an original gangster. OG as an, an old guy. <laughs> your boy told 202, man. Social media is social media is is dangerous at one point and it's good in another. You can make your hustle and make money, that's cool. But now we just got more trash on the street. It's your boy told 202 on my own.